Good morning, ladies. Watch, Penny will pee. She pees because she gets so excited. <laughs> I think it's excited for breakfast, not for me. But she's excited. Good morning, Chino. You liking your fan? <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Welcome to Wednesday, the day that we finally get to see how the girls are handling horse, the whole horse riding thing after Gabby's bad fall. I love having a blue bull. Back up. Right. Penny says, get me my food. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Right to her spot she goes, hangs her head out, has a look around, and then breakfast. And never pushy. Have you guys noticed? Never pushy. Unlike little miss pushy girl, I gotta put my elbow in my, and get out of there. Okay, you don't get it until you're not pushy. No, don't be pushy. Don't be pushy. There you go. Oh. Anyways, good morning. Welcome to today's video. I lost half a night of sleep a couple of days ago and last night I went to bed at 7 p.m. and I slept all night. So I'm hoping for a happy, energetic, amazing day. I'm gonna put the horses out and then I'm gonna fill you guys in on how Gabby is after her fall. And, it, and then today we're headed back to riding lessons with the Barn Boots Country Roots channel and we're gonna see how Sophie does <sighs> sometimes I feel like when you witness a tragedy it's the people who witness the tragedy that suffer more than the people who suffered the tragedy could be wrong but I feel like Sophie's struggling more than Gabby but I don't know about Gabby either <laughs> so anyways I'm gonna let the horses out and I'll catch up with you because yesterday I realized that you you such a huge part of horseback riding is building trust in your horse and she trusts Chino she feels powerful on Chino she feels like they're a team and it might not look like that to anybody else I, I don't know but I know that she has built so much trust in him and that she wants to ride him and that she she loves riding him and she just I just wish it was different but you can only do what you can do and everything is a lesson everything is a life lesson so just frustrating but anyways Gubby's doing so well so 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 super well she has pain when she moves around too much in her head and that's it like she has a huge bruise black and blue black and blue bruise anyways I do have high hopes for both of them today we're gonna see what happens when Sophie gets on Denver she just keeps saying all day yesterday I can only trust Denver I can only trust Denver and I don't know why like I don't know what happened all I know is I think Possibly she thought she could trust Lily and Seeing like that uh, an amazing school horse had like a it was an accident her toes clipped the back It was an oxer a small oxer. She took a long shot a long spot and her toes clipped and she couldn't regain so that that was it like it wasn't a, even a big thing other than What happened after but for some reason she has it in her head. I can trust Denver. I can trust Denver So I'm just gonna go with that right now and let her ride Denver and let her trust Denver and let her you know Rebuild from there and Gabby. I don't know like she's so quiet. It's hard to tell how she's feeling. I suspect <laughs> That she's not Well from the whole thing I suspect it when I ask her about riding, or we talk about riding, she seems non-committal, like she doesn't tell me one way or the other, but she doesn't, 
I don't know. I don't know, you guys. She's still suffering from the effects of a concussion, and that can change how you think and how you process and how you say things. I don't know. We're just going to have to see. But physically, she's doing incredibly well. She's not able to ride until Monday. She's not cleared to ride till Monday. And I see God's hand in this whole thing, pushing us in a different direction, pushing us, pushing us. Like, that's how life works. Like, when you're meant to make a change and you don't do it, God pushes you to make a change. So we're meant to make a change. I just don't know what it is. And and we're just going to wait and see. That's all you can do. That's what you do in life. You, life is a game of wait and see. So that's what we're going to do. But anyways, welcome to today's video. Let's get on with today. I'm so super excited. We had lots of plans. Sam's going to get our outdoor ready for us. He needs to like go in there and grade and stuff. But we have to take all the jumps and all the tires and stuff out. We need Gabby to help us. It's a big, huge job for just two of us. And Gabby can't do that today. I'm not having it. Like yesterday, I didn't let her even walk around much. So today, I'm going to let her walk around. But I'm not going to let her bend down and put her head down. Because it hurts when she moves her head. So... They say you're supposed to do what you can tolerate and if you stop tolerating it, go back to the day before for the concussion protocol. So she tolerated everything so perfectly yesterday. So she's moving forward and she's gonna be able to leave the house today. <laughs> like if you have a concussion and then something happens and you get another concussion, like a freak accident, like anything could happen, you bang your head for whatever, then it, <sighs> It can cause worse damage. So I have to be, you have to be really careful after you have a concussion to rest and protect your head while it's healing. So that's what we're doing. That's, that's basically just what we're doing. Oh, but before I forget, yesterday, Sophie and I tried to integrate the horses. We tried to introduce them like full on, put them in the same field. It was a disaster. And Gabby ended up calling from the house <laughs> saying, put them back in their own separate areas and I'll help you when I pull that out because Sylvia and I just do not have the heart for horses unhappy and sometimes when you add horses especially when you add three and we actually ended up trying to just add the two but I know Penny is really like stressed out from the whole thing like she wants to protect her herd she's very serious about protecting her herd and to her she know is a danger and I don't know if it's right for Penny to put her and Chino together like it's just Penny that's the that's the wild card. I want to protect her feelings. Like I, I want to not make it stressful for Penny. So since we've had her, we've never really introduced another horse. So I, I and I know that she can do it because I just know she can. She intro, she, I, I introduced her to our herd. I know she can do it, <laughs> but I'm not the one to do it. <laughs> and also I think Sam should be home. We should all be home. Like, I just think, Sophie and I are not the ones to do it. So I'm going to show you guys that footage right now, show you all the mistakes that we made, how we messed up, what we learned from it. Like we learned a lot from it. So anyway, enjoy that. And then I'll catch up with you again. So it is time to bring the girls in. And typically we've been keeping the horses all separate, separated. And today we're going to let them be together. So get ready. <laughs> There's gonna be squealing. I don't know how Penny's gonna be. We're gonna see how it goes. We're home all day. We can watch them and make sure everything's okay. I had to go get shavings today and there literally were no shavings. I had to go to two stores. <laughs> what? You see a pretty girl, he loves her. Yeah. So uh, the goal, whoa, it's Chino. Stay, hold on. I'm getting the heck out of here. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> Whoa, okay, Penny be nice. You should take it off because two horses together, that's not good. Penny be good. Hey, hey. He likes you, Penny. He's a nice boy. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> Even Ruby's sitting beside me. And Sophie's gonna have to take off her halter, which was the dumbest thing, leaving it on. I'm not gonna save you. <laughs> oh my gosh, did you see she wanted to come to me though? Like that, that's what she does. When she's feeling nervous, she comes to me. Good girl, Ben, I got carrots. I hear Willow squealing already. So if we could just add one at a, at a time, it would be so much better. 
She's like, I do not like this. This is my home, not your home. <coughs> hey, we know. He knows. He doesn't want to be the boss of you. It's okay. It's okay. Uh-oh. She might be jealous. Uh-oh. Okay, this is not good. Listen, go away from me. Oh, my God. Oh, trying to calm myself down. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, Penny, you be nice. Holy heck. Yeah, it's okay, big guy. Ah! Not what I like. Here, let me take this off you. <laughs> Ruby, I don't know if you can see, but she was like squished right up against me. Well, I'd wait a sec. Cheeto just wants to be have a friend. And Penny, all right, go ahead. I mean, ideally, we just leave these guys for the day. Because he really likes her. He's really interested in her. And coincidentally, he's always been the boss at the other barn. And they just had breakfast and lunch out in the field. And normally, I don't give them anything to eat for a couple of hours. I'm going to throw a little bit of hay to kind of help them be busy uh -oh. things are gonna get bad now look at her like an old lady marching right out there oh good god like a boy. <gasps> oh dear <laughs> ruby's like let's get here penny be nice to willow yeah penny wants them for <gasps> hey just can't change my emotions There isn't anything I wouldn't do To prove that everything I say is true And if you let me, I keep loving you I just can't change my emotions Hi, sweet girl. Did you get her away? <laughs> oh my god. That was so funny. Penny shooed Willow away from Chino. Willow acts all tough until Penny goes at her. As soon as Penny walks away, Willow acts all tough. Grab her. Grab her. She's, just like She's so good. We're going to lock them in the in there, in the barn. All right. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're trying to. Penny, don't you get mad at Gracie. I don't know if Penny's actually trying to keep her mare safe, which is what I actually think is happening. Oh, Sophie and I can't get this gate fixed. Look at it, it came right out of the wall somehow. Oh, here we go. <laughs> All right, this is way harder than we thought. See, Gabby's out of commission. Oh. All right, we gotta push that gate back. So it came out of the wall, so it's like on the ground and we can't get it. She called me three times. Uh-oh. What? Put Chino back in his field. We are. He is in his field. So uh, the time to discover that your gate that separates paddocks is broken is not the time that you need the gate. Like you should be checking the stuff beforehand. And really She's pushing the ponies off of Chino. She doesn't want her them near him. Yeah. One boy, three girls. That is not good odds. All right, go put Chino in his stall while we figure out how to fix this. I would have to walk him through a whole bunch of horses and Penny will attack him. Come here. Yeah, turn those horses. Hey! Don't do that! Look at the leader Penny is, though. <laughs> She's such a good girl. All right, can you give me a lead? 
Yeah, I'm not brave enough for this crap. Sylvia, it's such a good idea. She says that we should put our hay in there for feeding them. <laughs> oh, we struggled. Just when you think you got it going on. Yeah, I didn't. I had a good plan and you did not. Yeah, we need Gabby. No, we don't. Yes, we do. I know this might sound insane. using a new camera I am not sure if I like it it doesn't have the viewfinder on top it has the viewfinder on the side and I'm always looking to see if like I'm in frame or if the colors right but I don't know if this is the right camera for us it has a whole different system for the microphone and it has like everything is different so I don't know if I'm gonna if I'm gonna start using this even the zoom is not as good so I don't know you guys like tell me if you like this camera if it seems too different too odd or if we should keep looking for a better camera I don't know you guys it could be a whole new camera system for the day-by-day -day vlogs don't you know that you're beautiful?